Welcome to my channel. Let's talk about the problems 29 in chapter 2. In this one, first it tells us a function. The displacement with time t look like that. And tell us a unit x in unit meters, t is in second. First one asks you the units of a and b. The second, so for this one, we know for equation, the unit must be equal at the left side and the right side. Therefore, the unit of x must equal to the unit, the term a times t, right? So the unit a is the unit x divided by unit t, meter per second. Also, the unit x must equal to this term b t squared. So the unit for t, for b is x, unit x divided by t squared, unit, so meter per second squared. The second one, ask you the acceleration as a function of time t. So in this one, we can see because we already have the function x with t, so we can get the velocity um, velocity equal to der derivation x with t. So we take a derivation, then we get is a plus 2bt. And then we do that again, we can find the acceleration as a function of time t. So a equals derivation v with t. And then in this one, this one drop it, so we get 2b. And there, we find this acceleration as a function of time t is a constant 2b. That means acceleration is constant. It will not change with time. And the third one asks you the velocity and acceleration at the t equal to 5 seconds. In this one, we just input t equal to 5 seconds in these two functions, v and a, and then it is zero. The third one asks you the Velocity. If we change the uh, function, uh, the velocity as a function of time t. If the x equal to a t plus b t negative three there, we change the so still we do the derivation, and then we find the velocity is derivation x with t, and then we find the answer is there. That's all. Thank you.